Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ether where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the uh, SP 500, and as you can see, we did drop. Uh, we continue dropping in the S&P 500. We're trading right in the middle here at the Bollinger Band, just above the 50 moving average. And at the moment, we're trading at 3,895. At this current stage, technical indicators are all turning around in the S&P 500. So we could go and test the 50 moving average at the, the at 3,871. If that breaks, we can drop all the way down to the bottom here of the bullish band at 3,780. And that is also where we found uh, support back here. So yes, we continue to going lower rallies from here. If we manage to break above the, the 20 exponential moving average at 3,902. Then we'll go and target these highs of 3,947 before going towards 4,000. But momentum is to the downside at this current stage. We're still in this uptrend. We did have this pullback here rally, and now we're seeing an additional pullback towards at least a 50 moving average as it looks at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Sorry. So Dow Jones as well, we rallied towards the 33,150 and then broke down towards the um, 20 exponential moving average. Taking indicators at this current stage, they are very bearish and uh, we are seeing this really nasty candlestick here. However, we are still trading above the 20 exponential if we break the 20 exponential then we could drop towards the 50 at the 31,550 give or take and after that all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band which also was the previous lows here at the 30 30,811 at this current stage we are far away from that and uh, we have a lot lot of moving average to get break through before going all the way down to the bullish band the bottom of the bullish band but Historically, when we have gone outside of the bullish band, similar to this, we have dropped towards the middle or the bottom. We can see it right here, and we can see it here, and so on. And we can go all the way back, or far, far back, that when we get really overstretched to the upside, we see these massive moves to the downside, and vice versa. But at the moment, we are still trading above the 20 exponential moving average, and this could fall significantly lower if we don't continue rallying at this point. If we do, then we can go back towards the 33,000 and the 33,500 would then be the target. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ continues to fall and it's, like I said in the yesterday's video, when you basically stick around for this long at a certain point and you don't manage to break through it, you usually pull back. So we had a massive pullback in the late session on on, on Wednesday and we continue trading uh, lower. At this current stage, we're trading underneath the middle of the bullish band. We're trading at 12,809 and the technical indicators, they are all turning bearish in the daily chart. MACD is crossing the signal line now. Stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish. It looks like we are heading back towards the bottom of the bullish band here or this bottom of this range, which would be roughly 12,429 at this current stage. If we break below this, we could see this open the door towards the 200 moving average at give or take 12,000 at this point. So we haven't tested the 200 moving average for a really long time. Last time we basically broke through the 200 moving average was back here in it was back in april last year so we're still far away from the 12,000 um level we are 800 points away from that level there so we need a massive drop in the next few days in order to get to that level but at this current stage it looks very bearish for the nasdaq if we manage to rally from here we'll most likely be sold into by by the 20 exponential at uh, 12,900 and, 
1,060, and also the 50 moving average at 13,183. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for the NASDAQ to see basically where we could see some kind of resistance. The first, no, support, sorry. So first support here, the Fibonacci retracement is 12,671. Then we have where we bounced the last time at uh, give or take 12,259. And then we have the 61.8 right here at the 200 moving average, give or take 12,880. After that, this drops significantly all the way down to 10,633. Uh, so if we break these Fibonacci retracements level, we could see this drop significantly lower, but we're not there yet at this current stage. So let's look at the, the German DAX. And the German DAX continues to drop. We went outside of the bullish event here, we're significantly overstretched at roughly 14,800. And now we're gradually grinding towards the 20 exponential moving average at the 14,426. If we break that level, then we have the 50 moving average down here at 14,990. And after that, we can drop significantly lower towards these previous lows here at 14,300, 400, give or take. Technical indicators are all turning around for the German DAX and are becoming significantly more bearish. But we still have a long way to go before we see these lower levels. If we bounce from here, then we can go and test the previous highs here at 14,792. So let's look at the UK 100. UK 100 has fallen towards the 50 moving average, rallied up towards 6,722, and then broke, gave, gave most of those gains back. So quite a lot of resistance around this area here and the significant support at the 50 moving average. If we break the 50 moving average, that could open the door all the way down to these previous lows here at give or take 6,500, break above the 20 exponential and trade above that, that could open the door to these previous highs of 6,800. Technical indicators, they are all turning bearish at this point, while the RSI is fairly flat at this current stage. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here on Etro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.